just make yourself comfortable. And if you want to close your eyes, that's a good idea. But if you don't, that's fine too. Now you can just listen quietly to the sound of my voice. And of course, you'll be aware of all of those other sounds too. Sounds inside the building. Sounds from outside. But these won't disturb you. In fact, they are going to help to relax you. Because the only sound you need to think about is the sound of my voice. And while you are listening to the sound of my voice, you can just simply allow yourself to be as lazy as you could ever want to be. We will start now with some gentle five, seven breathing. Just breathing in for a count of five and out for a count of seven. And again in for a count of five and out for a count of seven. You may wish to carry on a few more times as when our out breath is longer than our in breath, it creates a nice calming effect on the body. It just lets the body know that it is time to relax. It is time for you to just let go. And whenever you are ready, you can simply return your breathing to normal. Just breathing slowly and steadily and evenly. And as you breathe out each time, you can allow your whole body to relax more and more. Now, while you're relaxing there in the chair or the bed, you can just be aware of your body and maybe sensing the weight of your head. And you know that weight might seem to just gently increase as you allow yourself to relax more and more. This heavy, relaxed feeling moves down now through the neck to your back as you can feel it sinking into that chair or bed and you can be aware of how comforting it feels that you can give yourself permission to relax and unwind. Just being aware of your ankles and feet now and wondering if they will start to feel heavy too as you relax. Thinking about your breathing for a few moments, noticing that your breathing is becoming slower and steadier as you relax more and more. Breathing so steadily and evenly, just as though you were pretending to be sound asleep, breathing so evenly, so steadily, you almost wouldn't disturb a feather placed immediately in front of you, breathing so easily and slowly, so gently that you almost wouldn't disturb even a single strand of a feather placed right in front of you. And as you allow yourself to relax even more now, I wonder if you can perhaps sense the beating of your own heart and just seeing whether you can use the power of your mind to slow that heartbeat 
down just a touch. Slow that heartbeat down so that you can then feel your whole body slowing down, becoming lazier and lazier because you've got absolutely nothing whatsoever to do except to relax. Nobody wanting anything, nobody expecting anything. So you can allow your whole body to continue to relax and become steadier and easier until it's just ticking over like a well-maintained machine of some sort or other, just ticking over, smoothly, easily, quietly, comfortably, so that you can become gradually more aware of your whole self, aware of your hands and arms, just sensing how they are right now and wondering if it's possible to relax them even more to be so in touch with yourself that you can actually get your whole body to relax even more and noticing how even your face muscles can begin to really relax relaxing and letting go of all of the tensions that were there. Almost, but not quite, completely unnoticed. Just being vaguely aware of the skin and the muscles of your face settling, smoothing out. A good feeling. Wondering just how long all of that tension had been there where it all came from in the first place and then realizing that you simply couldn't care less because you can feel it draining away from you now and that feels good and as you continue to sense the beating of your heart and the absolute steadiness of your body's rhythm you wonder at the fact that you are so absolutely relaxed and comfortable that you simply can't be bothered to even try to move even one single muscle. Even though you know you so easily could if you wanted to, I know that you easily could but you simply can't be bothered to even try. Allowing yourself to just be calm and relaxing even more. As lazy and relaxed as anybody could ever wish to be. Even though you are already as relaxed as it is possible for most people to ever be just finding the last tiny traces of tension in your body and simply letting them go with each easy, gentle breath allowing every muscle, every fibre, every cell of your entire body to be as beautifully relaxed as anyone could ever wish to be. In a moment, I am going to ask you to imagine certain things, but it doesn't matter if you can't imagine all of the things that I'm asking you to. You might even find your mind wandering quite a bit, so that my voice just fades into the background, but that doesn't matter either. The sound of my voice is going to continue to relax you and very soon now you're going to find yourself more relaxed 
than you can ever remember. I'd like you to imagine now that you're in the middle of a lush green valley that stretches beautifully in all directions as far as the eye can see. There are hills in the distance wherever you look and it dawns on you that this valley is actually a huge natural bowl. There are trees and rock formations, a small forest, and just a little way down the hill, a gently trickling stream, glistening in the sunlight, with a narrow pathway running alongside it. And just in the distance, you can see a lake, a lake where you know that only calm and peace exists. You begin to move down the hill towards the stream, noticing the firm springiness of the grass beneath your feet, marveling at the sense of deep calmness and tranquility that seems to fill every pore of your entire body. A tranquility that seems to be all around and within you as you move on down the hillside towards that gently trickling stream which in turn meanders down and opens up into that large, beautiful and calming lake. At the edge of the lake is a sailing boat. You step into it and start to float on the calm and beautiful lake. Perhaps it is a lake from your memories or perhaps just from your imagination. The edges of the lake are covered in colourful flowers and all around are rolling hills with tall trees growing. The scent of the flowers and the trees hang in the air and comforts you. You push off from the side of the lake and sail to the very centre, a place where you can be at comfort with yourself, with your own company, a time and a place that is just for you, a place you know you can return to at any time. You can enjoy the freshness of the air and the scent of the flowers carried on the breeze. The breeze starts to fill the sails and they take you off at a gentle pace. But remember that you are always in control of your vessel. You have the power to decide in which direction you wish to go. You glance over the side of the boat and lazily notice a school of fish following behind you, their bright colours just glimmering in the sunlight. A sunlight that is warm and comfortable. A warmth that feels just right and reminds you that while you are here, you are safe and you give yourself permission to relax. And you can be aware of just how good you feel. Alone with your own thoughts, the wonderful sounds of nature all around. In this place, you have no troubles, no concerns, nothing can bother you at all. The breeze now slows, and so has the boat. You can notice the gentle rising 
and falling of the boat, and just wonder if it corresponds to the rising and falling of your chest as you breathe. But you soon let that thought just drift off, just as any worries drift away. You look up, way up above the sail, and admire the blue sky above, visible from where you are so relaxed and comfortable. And you relax even deeper, feeling within a calming, comfortable heaviness that is so pleasant, so very, very nice. With every breath you take in, you can feel the crisp, calming nature of this wonderful place. With every out-breath go any worries, any stress, any anxieties. You know that in this place you are safe. With this wonderful, relaxed feeling, a feeling of being a part of everything, that everything is a part of you, enveloped in the beautiful, golden light and warmth that seems to be somehow all around and within you, you realize that at this moment you are in touch with all knowledge. And now your mind is prepared and receptive to everything that I am going to say to you, because during this state of special relaxation, your subconscious mind can come to the fore so that you can accept ideas and concepts that are beneficial to you. It accepts and acts upon these ideas, helping you, guiding you, guiding you towards your hopes and desires, helping you to achieve your aims and goals and the influence of these suggestions, as they are for your benefit, will have a steadily increasing effect upon the way that you think, the way that you act, the way that you behave over the coming days and weeks and months. While you're relaxing there, so easy, and calm inside yourself. I wonder if you can imagine how wonderful it would be to be this relaxed whenever you want to be. I wonder if you can create an image of you right at this very moment, perhaps doing something that used to worry you, but now looking so calm and so easy, looking as if you were just enjoying the whole process of simply being alive. Just knowing that whatever causes those feelings of worry are just a passing thing, just a passing thing that soon will seem to be of no importance at all because it belongs to yesterday or last week or perhaps last year. I want you to vividly imagine just as vividly as you can what you actually want to happen. Maybe it's a feeling that you wish to recapture. Maybe a new feeling you want to create. And of course, I can't know what it is that you're thinking, but I do know that whatever it is 
you can think of it in two ways. The worst way and the best way. And when you think of it in the best way, you are thinking of what you actually want to happen. You are thinking of a positive solution. And then you can think about how you might be able to move towards that positive solution. How to make that thing turn out exactly the way you want it to. And notice how good this feels as you think about what you actually want to happen so that you've actually changed the way that you feel just by thinking a thought and it's an interesting thing that as you teach your subconscious mind how to think about things in the best way you are more likely to find a way of making a positive change to the things you worry about. If you think about what you actually want to happen rather than what you fear will happen, you can teach your subconscious mind to look for answers so that it's completely true that if you think about what you actually want to happen, then those things will come to fruition. Of course, it's true that sometimes we have no control over a thing that's going to happen. But even then, we can think of it in two ways. The worst way and the best way. And the best way is just to know that whatever happens, it is simply a part of life that you will find the best way to deal with. A part of life that will, before long, become a thing of the past, as everything does. And it is a fact that whether we worry about a thing or whether we do not worry about a thing, when that thing happens, it immediately becomes the past. Just as you resting here today will be a thing of the past and all is well and all remains well. And from now on, you're going to discover that it becomes easier and easier for you to not fear what may happen but to think about what you actually want to happen and as you teach that subconscious mind to think of what you want to happen it will begin to find solutions to problems turning a setback to an advantage more often than not. From this day on, you're going to find your confidence within yourself, your confidence in your abilities and your self-belief becoming steadily stronger, stronger than yesterday, but not as strong as tomorrow you're going to find yourself far less concerned about other people's opinions too. You'll find you gain a clearer perspective and a better sense of proportion, beginning to recognize and understand because you know what's inside yourself. You understand your true integrity, your true self. It's worth remembering that nothing we see, hear, or imagine that we see or hear can change us. Nothing that we perceive in the outside world can alter us. 
only acting upon those things can do that. You are free of all worries now. And while you are pondering on these thoughts, I want to tell you a story. Once there was a village in a very isolated part of the world. So isolated, they very rarely saw visitors from the outside world. And the people of the village, they had a secret. They had a magical painting. It had been given to them by a stranger back in the past in a time before anyone could remember. The stranger had said, as long as this picture stays in the village, everything will go right for the people of the village. And the people felt very safe having this picture. One day, another stranger came to the village and the people being very hospitable, made the stranger welcome. They let him stay in the room where the painting was kept. And when they got up in the morning, the stranger had left and the painting had been taken away. The villagers were desolated. They felt their happiness had gone. Life could never again be the way they had pictured it. They looked out of the window and the blue sky had turned dark. The trees had stopped blooming. The birds no longer sang and they felt very sad. Then one of the young villagers walked over to where the painting had been on the wall and started to paint their own picture. They started to paint a beautiful painting of trees and birds and then some others joined and soon all of the people were busy cooperating making this painting. They all got so absorbed in the painting and it wasn't until the young villager looked out of the window and said, look, everything is changing. And they realized the sky had become blue again and the birds were singing again and the trees were back in bloom. And now each and everything that you do you do better than you have ever done before. You approach each new task with a complete ease of mind, knowing that you are relaxed and in a perfect frame of mind. Calm, relaxed and confident. And every day as your confidence grows, your feelings of self-worth become strong and powerful. Each day, with each new situation, whenever you need to, you take control. Calm your mind, disregard your troubles, and you are calm, relaxed, poised, competent and confident. You are your own person.